Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the Pesukim of Bitochen, starting a new Tehillim today, 25, and this is verse number 2. Elei Kai, my God, Becha, in you, Batachri, I trusted in you. Ali Vaisha, do not embarrass me. Do not let me be shamed. Aya also, Oivai, Li, and do not let my enemies raise up and be exalted over me. David HaMelech over here is once again proclaiming his tremendous bitach in the trust and the assurance that he has in the Rebbein Nisha'ilam, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu takes care of him. So he says, Ali Vaisha, do not let me be shamed and be embarrassed. Now why should a person who trusts in HaKadosh Baruch Hu ever be embarrassed? Everybody knows as a child growing up, there are many things that we ask our parents for and they don't always say yes. There are many things that we would like in life. It doesn't always work out the way that we want it. And yet we don't lose faith in our parents because they didn't buy us the latest gadget and they didn't take us on the luxurious vacation that some of my friends went on and they, my father doesn't get the major car that everybody else's father seems to be getting. I don't lose my trust in my parents because I don't get everything that I want. I still believe in my parents I know that they're there, I see them, they take care of so many other things. It's not embarrassing to me, it's not shameful to me that I don't receive it all. So a person is Baytech Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch is the greatest parent in the world. He gives you life, He gives you breath, He lets you see, He lets you walk and talk. You're able to go get a parnasa job and take care of yourself in so many different ways. So why is it if a person is Baytech Hashem, why is David HaMelech asking over here, Ali, Vaisha, don't let me be shamed and embarrassed. So the Radak says, it's not that I should be embarrassed. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, I trust in you wholeheartedly. My reliance is totally upon you. I know that you are the Bayha'ilam, the creator, the master of the universe. You're running everything and you're guiding me in my life. I'm not concerned if the answer is no. I'm not concerned if it takes a longer amount of time than I thought to be able to get a job or have a child or get a shidduch. I'm not concerned about that. It's not embarrassing to me. But Rebbe Yenushalem, everyone's watching me. And they look at me as being the quintessential Baytech Bashem, a person that trusts in you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And they're waiting to see, does the person who relies on HaKadosh Baruch Hu receive the answers that he wants? Does a person that invests his trust in Hashem, a person who walks around and he says, Baruch Hashem, in Yetz Hashem, Be'ez Hashem. Everywhere I go, everybody hears me say those words that I trust and I believe in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So they're waiting to see, does it work? Does a person that trusts in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, does he get what he wants? Does HaKadosh Baruch Hu respond in kind to his, his, his wellsprings of faith and trust? And therefore... Whatever it is that I need, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, give it to me. Not for myself. I don't need it. I trust in you no matter what. But I don't want it to be, I don't want you, you to be shamed in the eyes of others. And that's what it says over here that Malbim writes, it's not that I'm concerned over here for my own sake. Rather, I'm troubled that if you will not give me what it is that I'm asking for, what it is that I need, so then the wicked people of this world, they will use the lack of my receiving as a proof, as evidence for them, that they can deny that there is a chas v'chalila, deny that there is a ribay nishayim. How are they going to say that there is a kodesh baruch if it doesn't answer you? Right? How many people, Rahman al-Islam, they lost their amuna, they lost their faith and their trust in Hashem throughout the years of the Holocaust when they saw so many ehrlich, wonderful people who perished, whose families were destroyed in front of their very own eyes, how many young men and women who came from such beautiful homes of Torah and of mitzvahs and of Yer Shemayim watched their own mother and father slaughtered in front of their eyes, and they said, that's God? My parents lived all of their life, Shabbos, Kashros, Yer Shemayim, the Messiah's nefesh for mitzvahs, and this is the reward that they get? And that child walked out of the Holocaust no longer believing in Yohar Kaddish Baruch Hu. So my fear is not for myself. Those men and women, those, those soldiers and the warriors of faith and trust in our Kaddish Baruch Hu, 
They died with Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad was on their lips. They didn't stop believing in HaKadosh Baruch for a moment. It was total reliance and they went straight to Gan Eden. But those that were left afterwards to pick up the pieces and they saw that Amun and Bitochen doesn't guarantee life, they are the ones that suffered the most. And that is the, that is the shame and the disgrace of your name, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I'm not worried about the embarrassment. I will live with you forever in Gan Eden. But I want to make sure that in the eyes of the people around us, they're able to see someone who believes in Hashem, someone who puts their trust and their bitachin and their ribayin shaylam. HaKadosh Baruch Hu will t- be there for them. He will take care of them. He will grant them the bracha and the hatzlacha that they're looking for and asking for in life. So not for me, Hashem, but it's really for your honor and for your glory that people should see the way that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that you respond to those that are boiteach, the shame Hashem, that trust in the name of Hashem. Have a wonderful day.